Okay, so FIFA has announced a new FIFA series, and we're going to talk about it in today's video. Before we do, guys, leave a like on the video and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. Basically, I'm going to break this down before I ask you guys a couple questions about it. It's going to be a biennial event. It's going to be a, an event in which the six federations send teams to basically play friendlies. And from what I can understand, the point of the FIFA series is if you're a team that doesn't get international exposure, you don't qualify for World Cups, you don't qualify for even your uh, Continental Cup. Like, let's say, for instance, you get eliminated before you qualify for the Asian Cup, you know, teams like that, that just really don't get any knockout football. They don't have the opportunity to schedule friendlies, whether that's because they're too bad of a national team or they don't have the finances, whatever. It's a way to kind of address that and get these teams some games. So it's kind of like how the Nations League was meant to get all these Caribbean islands and like the smaller European teams, like consistent football. It's kind of like that, but this is now an international event. Um, and what's going to be happening is that FIFA is going to pay for all of the travel for the entire team. So that's another way that this is very accessible for some of the smaller federations, which I think is a great thing. There is no trophy for the FIFA series and there is no prize money. So it's basically just like an all expense paid friendly tournament is, is how you can look at it. And there's going to be multiple versions going on at the same time. Right now there are one, two, three, four, five groups of four. There's a FIFA series going on in Algeria, Azerbaijan, Saudi Arabia, of course, have two, and Sri Lanka are hosting one as well, which is pretty crazy. Sri Lanka is going to be hosting, I mean, that's a massive dub for Sri Lanka. It is. Good for them. Just, just in that alone. I don't even know if they're going to score a goal or anything in that. But what do we think about this overall? Because I feel like we've touched on this as an idea kind of roughly throughout the history of Dead Ball TV and the podcast. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good thing from FIFA? Do you think it's is something that is pointless and isn't really going to lead to much? Jake, you want to kick us off? Sure. I think this is a great idea. Superb idea. A stellar idea. Now, when I look at what teams mm. either were invited or agreed to do this, that's when I get a little poo poo in the pants. Okay. Um, I mean, whew, there's some truly. I mean, is there anything below a third world country? Fourth, fourth world? Is that a real thing? I feel like at that point it's just like a your nation state. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say like an unsettled frontier. Like I don't... yeah, like you're just like a nomadic tribe. Yes, it's like Oregon Trail. I mean, there is some there. of these I'm just like, I could not point to you on a map, even if I tried. <laughs> like Algeria? Couldn't point to them on a map? <laughs> like... South Africa, perhaps, is the country you're referring to. Like Vanuatu. You don't know my boys Vanuatu? You do? Jack learned how to pronounce that 15, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Of course I do. My, one of my homies is from there. He's a great guy. We'll have Ooh. him on the channel at some point. Greg? Uh, John, uh, <laughs> it is... No, no, no. Greg from Puerto Rico. Uh, my homie Philip. He's from Vanuatu. <laughs> no, he's... His name's Philip. Huh? <laughs> my boy, Phil. It might be pronounced Philippe, uh, yeah, yeah. colloquially. But anyways, okay, so you're you're a little displeased with some of the teams. I'm just pleased because... with the selections of, of the teams, but I am fully behind the idea of getting more international competition and growing the sport in some of these relatively uncharted waters, you know, of football, where I would imagine all these places have domestic leagues or you know people that love the sport I, I i mean i don't think they they probably had any exposure to fifa really other than whenever they go through their you know the continental qualifiers for things and even then you know they probably don't schedule a lot of friendlies some of these people so this is great for them definitely definitely not i mean i hear what you're saying about the teams and the fact that like 
if you are a person expecting the first FIFA series to be something that puts butts in seats and everybody's busting out the popcorn because you're thrilled to watch Mongolia and Tanzania go at it, I think you're kind of missing the point. I think it is supposed to be kind of lackluster, at least from a firepower standpoint, because you do need to incorporate teams that truly are in the mud as a national team who just get no opportunity whatsoever. Um, honestly, I'm shocked that Algeria is in this thing, to be real with you. I am too. I saw their group, Algeria and South Africa, and even Bolivia, I would, I would say like, that's, they're not minnows by any, by any means. No, that's a, that's a, that would be a strong group. Well, at like a World Cup. strong, it would be a decent group at a World Cup at an yeah. expanded World Cup. That'd be a decent group. Yeah, I want to know where this goes. And I, but I think it's a great foundational piece for FIFA and, and one of the rare FIFA W's in the past got yeah. 100 years. I'm not so sure. So I was thinking about some ways that we could improve the tournament. And I'm gonna throw some ideas out there. You guys let me know what you think. Number one, I think a biannual t- or biennial tournament is not frequent enough. No. Make it every year. Come on. Make it every year. Your FIFA, you got the money. Don't make this mm-hmm. don't make this as serious as an Afcon or as a Copa America. Do it every year and try to get as many new teams in there as often as possible. Or maybe if you win your group, maybe the prize for that is you get to play in the next edition, but you like can't play in more than two consecutive editions so that you're guaranteed if you're Cambodia you know, you guarantee the, the next FIFA series. I think that's a good incentive for these teams to try. Number two, you got to have money or a trophy in here if you really want the boys to play, I think. It's got to be for something. something. It can, the trophy can be this big of solid gold, but it needs there needs to be a trophy so that these guys actually try. Or I was thinking maybe you could do a promotion style, like the Nations League. If Sri Lanka is the worst... But they win the Sri Lankan FIFA series. Maybe they graduate to the Saudi Arabia B series. So that there's, mm-hmm. again, a little bit of incentive. Like, okay, we're going to play like stronger teams in the future. Those are kind of my ideas for how to improve upon this. You guys drop any thoughts down below in the comments. I'm a little confused why there's only one Conmebol team here. And it's Bolivia. <laughs> I'm a little confused here. There's only two CONCACAF teams as well. Yes, two con. Okay, here, why why is Suriname not at this tournament? Yeah. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because they're friendling Martinique. F that friendly. Send both of y'all asses to the FIFA series. What are you doing? What are you doing playing one friendly against each other? Cancel that and fly to Sri Lanka. <laughs> you want to get better as a national team? Fly to, to Sri Azerbaijan. Lanka, fly to Azerbaijan, get flown out. You're not paying for it. Get flown out Price like these IG girls to Azerbaijan <laughs> and play three games, bro. Come FIFA on. FIFA will make them do what coach. Is... Come on. Come on. Yeah, you'll fly I mean, coach. You, you... Nobody's going to recognize you. You're not going to be bothered. It's all right. Oh, sorry, no. for the, sorry for the stray, oh, but no, I, I'm just saying, bro. Ronaldo Beckham, he's gonna be undisturbed during my, that flight. My boys, my yeah. boys in Guadeloupe, they'd be they'd be chomping at the bit for this. Guadeloupe Why are they would not smoke, here? smoke this tournament. Oh, bro, I, give me. Guadalupe I'm curious Equatorial how Guinea. they. So, there's a lot of teams that didn't play a qualifier, right? Or or, or match in March. Is that what you said? That's how these these got chosen. Yeah, these guys did not have World Cup qualifiers or uh, friendlies already scheduled. I mean, there's a crap ton of nations that are that are left off. So I'm I'm kind of curious if FIFA just like did a mass email blast. It was like, hey, mm-hmm. let us know if you're in, and like first people that responded got got in. Reserve your spots now. Kind of. Um, I think so. Dude. Or if they if they hand picked it, because hand picking's got a kind of a different flavor to it. Yeah. And now it's like, why did you handpick these? Right. You know, like that. the the thing that surprised me the most outside of Algeria as a very obvious, like, why are you here type thing? 
I also get Cape Verde and Equatorial Guinea. I'm like, do y'all, do y'all really need to be here? I feel like y'all are too good. You know, it's like when you're 25 or it's like when a senior player comes back and then they throw him with the U23s for like a game or two. I know Lucas Moore did that with Spurs. And he's like, mate, you're 30 and you have like 25 Premier League. Why are you playing against the Sheffield U23s right now? You know what I'm saying? Mm. A bit of a weird inclusion for me. Bolivia, I mean, I was going to say it's the most down bad comable team. They should be here, but I actually think that's Peru right now. Yep. I, I think they could have gotten a little more creative with some of the African teams. I don't think Cape Verde needs to be here. I think you throw in a Madagascar instead. Something like that. Or like Sao Tome and Principe. You know those boys ain't getting games. Yeah, they need reps. <laughs> no, genuinely. No, ge- genuinely, they need reps. Team, teams will pay for Cape Verde to fly and, and play. I know Ecuador friendly them last year. Like, they're a desirable national team. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I feel like they could have gotten a little more creative with, with some of the African inclusions. And CONCACAF, I think the fact that Guyana and Bermuda are the only two teams here is... I, I'm not going to say shocking, but I think there should have been more. What do we do when Bolivia takes nine points against Algeria, Andorra, and South Africa? We celebrate their victory. Come bowls back. Oh, give them baby. a big old pat on the back. <laughs> we just post oh, one God. single picture on the YouTube of Fat Mares. That's all we do. Yeah. Not the meme where he says it's part of the game. <laughs> it's, it's part of the game, isn't it? It's part of the Please game. Please tell me y'all have seen that. Yes, I have. Y'all yeah. seen that, right? Okay, okay. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, this might be this might be Mares' farewell game. I'm not even kidding. What a way to go out. Two no <laughs> loss to Bolivia. I mean it it it's obvious that this is a test run and everyone's gonna kind of be curious to see how this goes and if countries take it seriously or not because the countries if if everyone takes it seriously then i could see some of the smaller european teams and maybe like a honduras for example you know kind of kind of acting like yeah you know i'll i'll sign up for a fifa series yeah yeah and then you just kind of slowly build from there i don't think any of the tier one you know caliber uh, international teams will ever be here and i don't think they should what if they genuinely, this might be offensive. What if the powerful teams genuinely have nothing better to do? Like, for example, Uruguay do not have a friendly for March. Should they just take the entire window off? I feel like throw them in with Algeria, you know? Yeah. Bielsa, Bielsa would fly them there. Are you kidding me? He'd be like, are we going? He's like, are we going and you yeah. won't like it? We, we're going mean, to play Algeria. We'll play a nobody they bring their we'll play Algeria. They're bringing in their C or their B team, right? Dude, I don't know. Are you getting reps know. against South Africa and Algeria? I don't know if I'd waste those. I guess that's fair. Those those are good games. I wouldn't fly to Africa to play Bolivia if I was Uruguay. But if I'm playing some good African teams, I, I think it's worth it. What a logistical disaster that would be. <laughs> <laughs> The but, Bolivians and the Uruguayans would be looking at each other during the national anthems. They'd be like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We're in Algiers right now. This yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. To, to end the episode here, I feel like the way this ends is what I have been clamoring for for years now, which is the equivalent of a not-in-tournament World Cup that happens at the same time as the World Cup. We take all the scrubs who didn't qualify, which will include some very good teams always, and we have a tournament. And Saudi Arabia can host it again. I don't care. Okay, whoever's got the facilities, FIFA can pay for it. I think that'd be a great thing. Don't make it. Don't make it thirty or forty-eight teams like the real World Cup, but yeah. make it you know twenty-four or something like that, and yeah. get in these guys. Let them get. That's that's what's really going to help Guatemala. That's what's really going to help Curacao. Hong Kong, things like that, you know, bro, because China. I feel like bro, China would be a, a favorite, dare I say, for that tournament. Um, I think that's where this goes. I think that's where we when we really get to a level where these underprivileged national teams are really given a good chance 
to improve and they're really given good competition. That's where I see this going, but I don't, this is going to be the first edition in literally a couple of weeks here. I don't see that happening until maybe like the, the fifth, 10th edition, something like that. Like we're talking down the road. Cause you got to find somebody who wants to host all that. And mm-hmm. that's going to be, a, that's going to be a that, big yeah. ask. Yeah. Unless it is a China or somebody who, who knows they can't qualify for a world cup and they're like, all right, F it. We want to win a trophy. So sure. We'll host the, FIFA not good enough World Cup debut tournament. I would take it. Hey, if my national team was in that tournament, give me that trophy. Win that for me. We'll call it the Wallflower Tournament. Wow. 